Hey there everyone, happy Sunday to you. And thank you so much for clicking on this video and for choosing me to spend this time with. This is my channel, Once Upon a Nursery, and I am Tamra, and Fruit Loop, Top Dog, and your host as always. And today is my tag, So Blue Dolly Sunday, where this week I didn't mess up and put the wrong baby on the wrong day. <laughs> where you can also put your babies in anything blue, anything purple, and anything green. And for my tag today, I have my sweet little girl, Lyra Nehemiah. And last time she was on was for Dolly Sunshine Saturday. And she has on this adorable little ladybug outfit, which you guys can see pictures of her on Instagram from then. And this is her lovey. This is Dandy. He's, he's just so fluffy and cute. <laughs> We're going to move him out of the way. And let me show you guys real quick what I'm going to put on her. First, I wanted to show you her pacifier that I modified for her. As you can see, possibly, it's just kind of angled. Yeah, there we go. And I just trimmed off a little at a time, just a teeny bit at a time, and kept trying it until I got pretty much a perfect fit and what generally ends up happening is when I put that in her mouth like that um, at some point um, I'll come back in the room and she won't have it anymore so I'm like oh I guess she didn't want that she spit it out <laughs> but I had this cute little ladybug hair clip in her hair and the cute little ladybug socks um, so I wanted to before I show you what I'm gonna put on her today I wanted to read you guys something really quick in a book that I got uh, from, um, oh shoot, I'll go ahead and take this, from Jess at Crafty Churchy Nursery, and a, in a uh, another book that I got, it's uh, Prayers and Promises for Women, I got this book from Tanya Blakeney, and I just wanted to read you guys something really quick. So the first thing I wanted to read you is a quote. And the quote says, Make the most of yourself by fanning the tiny inner sparks of possibility into flames of achievement. Golda Meir. Love Golda Meir. Love her story. She's very awesome. So the next thing I wanted to read you guys was a little Bible verse here real quick. And it says, I praise you. Because you made me in an amazing and wonderful way. What you have done is wonderful. I know this very well. Psalms 139, 14 in the new uh, NCV. What is that? NCV. New something version. Anyways. So. <laughs> right. Uh, let's talk a little bit about um, making the most of yourself. Let me show you first. I have this headband that I made and this bow that I'm going to attach to it. It's just a crocheted headband. Um, it has, I got this from BB Craft and just sewed it together. It was already made. It came in a roll. But this one has some um, issues. It's got some thinning right here and it's also got a spot on it. This was like the end of the roll. So, but I use it anyway. And then I have this white bow that I made. It's just a plain white bow, very simple. And then I have these little white socks with some little ears on them. They're also just plain white. And this came from Cheryl at Kailela's Precious Ones. It's three to six months and it is blue and white striped and it has a little blue and white striped pocket and sleeves and also the cuffs or no the bottom of the feet yes they are also light uh thinner striped is what i'm trying to say anyways so that is what i'm going to put on her today and oh and these shoes as you know these are lyra's shoes these were my daughters they're a size one got them at payless i actually have the box and the receipt right over there still so I think I paid like eight dollars for them at Payless but these shoes fit Lyra so perfectly that I don't put them on any baby but Lyra so they're Lyra shoes <laughs> they're Lyra shoes all right 
right, let's go ahead. Let's talk. Let's talk. So um, let's talk about Golda Meir's, um her quote. It says, to make the most of yourself by fanning the tiny inner sparks of possibility into flames of achievement. So what would you do um, to, to fan those sparks, to fan those flames? Like what, what is something that you would do for yourself to help you to accomplish um, your, say your next achievement, you know, what are some, some things that, uh, I mean, would you look into maybe, I guess it would depend on what it is. Um, if it's a, a new job or something like that, but I was just wondering, you know, what, what, um, when you do feel those, those sparks of inspiration, like, uh, how do you go about completing to your, your goal? I guess is what I'm trying to say, you know, um, for me, uh, when it comes to pretty much anything in my life, um, everything is a possibility. Uh, there's nothing that I can't do. I just realized something. This has feet. I can't put her shoes on her. So, oh, here go the shoes. <laughs> I am still going to put the socks on her, but I just realized, I thought this had a cuff bottoms. Anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, so the, the way I, I like to go to have pretty much everything in my life, and that is I, I start everything with, with prayer, you know. And uh, the Lord tells us um, to pray as though we have already received our blessing. So, I you know, I used to pray like where I was literally begging God, please, please do this for me, Lord, please do this. And then I, I started watching some uh, different channels on like manifesting and things like that. And I started, you know, I, I saw a, a, a Bible verse on one of those channels that, that said, it, you know, it was that Bible verse. I believe it was Matthew... 29 11 or something like that i'm probably got the numbers wrong probably got the book wrong or something but anyways it's something like that and i can even put it up on the screen for you guys but uh no part of that does it say to beg me and 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 uh plead with me to help you it says to pray as though you have already received your blessing so in that case, keeping that in mind, I have begun starting every day out immediately with gratitude and just thanking the Lord for everything that he has given me from the clothes that I wear to the food that I eat to the ground that I walk on, literally for all of you. So anytime I'm trying to achieve something to, to get to a, a goal somehow, I always turn it over to God. I don't even worry about it. You know, <coughs> I, hello, <laughs> Stella, Stella, don't walk the way. Stella, good girl. <laughs> um, instead of like, like say my YouTube channel, I'm just gonna use my YouTube channel for instance. I was so close to getting 500 subscribers and I really wanted to get to 500, you know, I really did. And instead of, you know, pleading and please God help me do this. No, I prayed and I was like, thank you, Lord, for the over 500 subscribers that I have gotten. Thank you for blessing my life so that I can in turn bless other people's lives and possibly help other people achieve their goals and help them to feel better about themselves as people and of course to let people know that no matter what you're not alone because if anything you can come over here to my channel and come and hang out with me I'll hang out with you I could always use more friends always but yeah I just I don't I I've stopped begging and pleading and 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 asking please Lord can you please Lord no I have the power within me to change the things that I need to change. Just have to know how to do it, you know? And I think that is something that a lot of people sort of 
don't even realize that we're supposed to be doing. I never realized it. I never realized that we were supposed to pray as though we have already received our blessing and then to live in the joy that that blessing brings. So not just praying as though we would have received it, but living in the joy that we would have from that thing. You know, let's say that somebody is praying because they, they want a, a promotion at work. So, you know, you'd pray and say, thank you, Lord, for the promotion that I have gotten at work. Thank you that I am able to provide more, you know, better for my family, blah, 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 this and that, you know, not blah, 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 but you know, praying. <laughs> and then after you're done, be happy and like, wow, wow, look how well I'm doing, you know, and be proud of yourself as though you have already received that blessing and you will, you will, you absolutely will. You just have to believe that, believe in the Lord and trust in God. That is how I get to anything, anywhere in my life. If, if something I'm not sure about or something happens or something that I, I'd like, I just turn it all over to God and I just pray as though I have already received my blessing. And I didn't put her bow in her hair. Huh. I knew there was something missing. I kept looking around for a second. All right. Let me show you what she looks like really quick. Oh, there's my little Lyra all dressed for So Blue Dolly Sunday. Let's get excited because you know what? You've got this. No matter what happens in your 3D reality, you have got this. You just have to trust and believe. And that's what I do. And that's why I just want to say thank you to God right now. Not just for today but for all of you thank you so much for being here and uh for listening to me rattle and ramble so i guess that's it for us today we have lyra already in change it's too bad that i couldn't put her little shoes on her but next time we're kind of all just getting comfy cozy so you know we'll put her tinnies on her next time yes oh i love this sweet little baby all right guys well, thank you for joining me, as I said, and please consider hitting that like and subscribe. If you haven't, hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload a video. Comments and sharing are always welcome, and I would love if you did my tags over on Instagram, and I will leave a link to my Instagram in my description. And there will also be a short video of her available as well, possibly right now, possibly later. Just keep a lookout for that. But with that, we are going to go and we're going to say happy Sunday to you and God bless you. So from me and Lyra, we love you guys so much and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.